It came with a huge loss as well. Of course, they started the afternoon without Des Bryant and Ari and Rappaport reporting he's going to be out anywhere from 10 to 12 weeks, by the way, with that foot issue. Of course, they were facing DeMarco Murray. I do not like the way they use it, DeMarco. Uh, we will get to that momentarily. Yeah, Tony yeah, Romo to Kevin Escobar. Does Escobar he get in? in there. Well, they say that his knee touches before he breaks the plane of the end zone. And so the Cowboys have to settle for a field goal, a 3 nothing lead. But that one, it's... Whoa, I don't know about that. Well, they would review it because of the coach's challenge, but they say negatory. As far as Murray, remember last week, yeah. eight carries, nine yards Run against the Falcons? sideways, man. He's an eye back. Why did you go there? Why'd you pick Billy? Show me the money. Thank you. <laughs> Donnie Jones has the punt swatted away, recovered by Kyle Wilbur. Oh, there's a ton of hurt on that punter. And he ends up scoring the touchdown, and the Cowboys lead it 13 Cowboys to zip. Up. Jones, by the way, why is he hurting? Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. Maybe he could have called a helmet to helmet on it, by the way. I don't a know. Double check. Huh? Get the punt blocked, then you get blocked. Depleted. <laughs> So in a 13-0 game, biggest play of the afternoon. Tony Romo sacked, loses the ball, and then is lost for the game and then some. Bradley, Our Judy man. Batista and Desmond Purnell are reporting fractured collarbone. The Cowboys will evaluate and assess his situation come Monday. Ah. But Romo, done for the foreseeable future, is a left collarbone injury. Same one that he broke in 2010, and you can see Jarrett. Jerry said, dang. Something like that. Mm. So that means, Brandon Whedon, you are next man up. And so they're playing well, without dang. their quarterback <laughs> and their best offensive weapon and their best running back is running the ball these days for the Philadelphia Eagles. Just to let you know. Eagles right, trying to get man. back in it. Down 13 zips. Uh, Sam Bradford has it picked off by Sean Lee. Bad Sean decision. Lee. One of many bad decisions by the quarterback today. And Sean missed last season with an injury. And boy, the Cowboys need him this year. Bradford then swinging it out to DeMarco Murray. There he is. Oh, the great leaping move to get the first down. And then what? Watch what happens here. Wait, Dan hey. Bailey, what are you doing, Dan Bailey? You're a kicker. Just trying to give him some love, man. That was all in fun, but it cost him 15 yards. I want to say, hey, how you doing? Anybody ever how you been? I mean, what's up, homie? And he gets, a, he gets a penalty. <laughs> Shouldn't he be booting the ball in the net over there in the corner? No, or man. He was just trying to say hi. Okay. Yeah, good try. Eagles settle for a field goal. They're still down 10. There's Romo in the sling, in the brace. Get used to that look for a few weeks. But Whedon, it's Gavin Escobar. He has it stripped, recovered by Malcolm Jenkins, who returns it to the Cowboys 30. Byron Maxwell, their so-called prize free agent acquisition in the offseason, like torched by Julio Jones on Monday night, actually does something positive here. You got time. Hold on. What are you praise him? But then next snap, oh, no. Bradford wasn't ready for it. Nick Hayden recovers. Chip Kelly's saying, wait a second. With this high-octane offense, we got three points? Bulls are relentless right now. ball comes out. He's not expecting the ball oh. at all. Lucky it hit him or it had been sailing back 40 yards. You're talking about a Pro Bowl center and Kelsey out there trying to do his thing. He just couldn't. And after a Cowboys three and out, Bradford. Ball is oh. tipped and Tip hit drill. by J.J. Wilcox. Bradford, 23 of 37 on the day for 224. Pair of interceptions. As for Brandon Whedon, looked pretty darn good. Seven for seven, 73 yards, and that touchdown to Terrence Williams, who actually stepped on this, stepped up on this day. Four grabs for 84 yards, and that score. And the Cowboys, a huge victory, 20 to 10, even though it looks like they are going to lose Tony Romo for the foreseeable future.